So in the last video, we we're able to implement our add friend and accept friend methods. So in this video, we're just going to check and make sure to see that these methods are working as expected. So first of all, I'd like to edit my model factory so that I'll be able to generate multiple models for this purpose. And uh, right here, remember we included a slug field and we also included a gender field. And we also included an avatar field into our database. So before we use our models, we have to fill this in. So my slug is actually going to be the string slug of the name that we pass in right here. So I'll just go and assign this to a variable and I'll say name is equals to this. And right here, I'm just going to say name and the slug is going to be the string slug of this name that was generated by Ficker. The next thing is the gender. I'll just make the gender equal to one in this case or zero. So the next thing will be the avatar and this is going to be the default avatar for the female. So I'll just go ahead and copy that. And in my model factory, I'll just set that up. So now that the model factory is set up, first thing I like to do is actually flash my database. So PHP artisan migrate refresh and this will migrate my friendship table to the database and what next I would like to do is just call PHP at Santinka and this is going to help me generate a list of users that we can use. So right here the first parameter it takes is the user model and the next the number of users we want to generate. Okay so that's okay now we have five new users in our database. Okay, so first we should be able to call an add friend method from one user to another, like in our friendable thread. So let's go ahead and write this method in our web.php. So right here, rather than saying hello, we can just say add friend. And uh, the auth user is gonna call the add friend method. Or we can just say app user first is going to call the add friend method on the second user because the parameter that this method takes is the ID of the user. So we're going to try this out by going to the slash add route. And remember in our threads we said if it's a success, it should return the friendship. So that looks like the friendship and it means it worked. And uh, the next thing we should test out is our accept friend method. So let's go ahead and call the accept route. And uh, we're just going to say find a user with ID of two and uh, accept friendship from the user with ID of one. And if it works back to our friendable threads, if the accept friend method works, we should expect an okay. But I'll just go ahead and change this to friendship. So we should expect the, the, expect the friendship return to us so we can see if the status has been changed to one. Okay, so if we navigate to accept, okay, the status is changed to one successfully. So it means our two methods are working pretty much properly at this moment. So let's go ahead and try to see if we passed in maybe accept from user four. And that should obviously fail because we actually don't have any friendship request between user user one and user four or user two and user four. So just say accept. And then that's a fail because in our table we don't have any friendship request between user two and user four.